Something happened recently in comments of a video. I filmed four different tire cleaners for a test to try and find out if one was better than the other. If they all perform roughly the same, do they make a big difference to your tires? And you guys went crazy in the comments. You were talking about the fact that although some of you do use regular all-purpose cleaners, all these kind of degreasers, citrus products and so on, many of you also use dedicated tire cleaner products and you all seem to be very happy, but a lot of you mentioned one particular brand telling me that you've got this and it's an all-purpose product. It does so many different things, but why bother going with all of these dedicated products when you've got this one instead? So I decided today to put four to the test to find out if they make a big difference, if they all perform roughly the same, if there's anything I can notice or tell you in between them. So... With that in mind, I've got these four products. I've got Autoglans Rebound, probably the first dedicated tire cleaner to market. I've got Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo. I've got a generic all-purpose cleaner. This one happens to be called Kryptonite. It was from eBay. And I've got a car shampoo from Wax and Away. So stick around, check this out and wait till the end because I want to kind of give you more of my thoughts about this and I do think it's quite an important thing to check out. But let's go out to the car and see how they go. So this is the first rinse off the front right tire and uh, I'm making sure that all the surface dirt has been removed. These tires weren't as dirty as I had hoped. This is Natalie's car. It hasn't been cleaned in months, but it doesn't do the same kind of miles that my car does. So after a liberal rinse off, the first product is going to be Auto Glands Rebound. Once I make sure everything's right with the spray bottle there. There you go. And this is going to be tested on half the tire. A good few sprays around one side. And then for the tire scrubbing brush, I'm using the brush from SGCB. This is my current favorite tire scrubbing brush. A few sprays of the product onto the brush as well. And you can see it's building up a nice foam. This is actually quite a thick foam. Not in that it's a very bubbly foam, but the foam itself is quite dense. It's quite thick. I can't figure out another way of telling you it's a thick foam. but I'm giving it a really good agitation around one half of the tire here, making sure I'm going around it quite a few times just to get all the grime off there. And then we'll rinse that off. And you're not going to see any difference right now. I'm going to dry the tires later with high speed warm air so you get a proper idea. This is the rear right tire, same situation as before. And I think what's interesting about this car is I do believe all four tires may be from different brands. I didn't actually pay attention, but they are a mixture of different brands. And this is something you need to keep in mind when you're cleaning tires, that no two tires are the same. Even tires from the same brand, the same line may be different. Some may hold on to more grime, some have more browning. This is Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo, diluted at 10 to 1 in my spray bottle there. Haven't used it in a while, so it takes a bit of pumping to get it up through the nozzle there. So, as you saw before, Auto Glands Rebound was used neat because it's not a dilutable product. Zero Decon Shampoo can be diluted in many different ways. I've been using it on my tires at 10 to 1 for a very long time. And as you can see, this has a very similar foaming action. It's roughly the same, maybe not quite as thick as the Auto Glands, but so very, very close. And this has been diluted. It is a high alkaline cleaner. But so far, again, not much I can tell you. It felt absolutely the same 
as the auto glands rebound on the tire. Don't worry, the wheels get uh, cleaned in another video. That'll be the next one coming. This is the front left tire. Again, a different tread, a different pattern. Left side gets different dirt to the right side. It has been through all manner of different weathers up here in the northeast of Scotland. Most recently, lots of snow. Product I'm using here is a generic all-purpose cleaner. It happens to be a brand called Kryptonite. The product is known as AZ101. You can buy it on eBay. This has also been diluted at 10 to 1. So that's 45 milliliters of product to 450 ml of water. You'll notice there though, it wasn't really foaming as it was sprayed onto the tire. It only generates foam or becomes foamier when it's agitated. It is a thinner foam and a thinner product. This is something you'll get with all-purpose cleaners is they're not all made to the same standard, to the same strength or dilution ratios. They are all different. So this is just from what I'm using. But I've had it for quite some time and I use it for odd jobs here and there when I don't want to use some of my more premium products. And lastly, the rear left tire, giving this a rinse off again. They were all roughly the same. I did hope for a bit more grime and muck, but they were all roughly the same, especially after being driven through the snow. I'm guessing that would have cleaned off the tires a little bit. As for the wheels, well, they're just old wheels. They could do with a refurbishing, but this car doesn't cost us much money, so I don't think it's going to happen unless it's a project for me in the future. So this is car shampoo. This shampoo happens to be from Wax and Away. This is their pH neutral car shampoo. And you can see I didn't get a chance to apply it because it's in a bucket just off camera. So I had to go two goes just to make sure I was getting the product onto the tire. Some of the foam was being carried with it. You can see it's much thinner than some of the other cleaners. But we'll soon find out what kind of difference we get from this, if anything at all. But you can see the foam there is definitely much, much thinner. This shampoo was diluted into a bucket. I believe it was two capfuls into about 15 litres of water. So that's probably the most diluted product so far. Let's have a look here after they've been dried. We're looking for a difference between the left side and the right. And you can see a difference there. So this was auto glands rebound. The right side does have a bit more grime on it. You can see some of the marks there versus the left side, which is a more uniform look, which means it has been cleaned a little better. I would say it would be ideal to give each tire two goes. That's what I usually do. But the argument is that Rebound can do the job usually in one go. That's why people buy tire cleaners. It's a bit of a time saver. We'll soon find out. This is the Garage Therapy tire. And I think there's a more noticeable difference there. The left side is much darker. The right side is more light gray. Let's get a closer look. And you'll see there, it's looking pretty good on the left side. And there's a very definite line there where the two starts. And it's much more gray and grimy on the right side. So there's a definite noticeable difference. The same at the bottom of the tire there in the center of your picture. That is pretty much the 50-50 line. So Garage Therapy did a cracking job there. Definitely a more noticeable job than the Autoglans, in my opinion. But your opinion may differ. 
This is the generic AZ101 Kryptonite tire. You can see the right side there has a bit of graying going on there from some of the surface grime. The left side, it's not as bad. It's certainly not as even or uniform. There is not an enormously outstanding line of difference between the two. That's the center of the tire. Honestly, it's not done a bad job, but it's not great. And this is the shampoo. This actually surprised me. You can see a difference there. The left side is a bit cleaner than the right side. Again, perhaps not quite as stunning a difference, but still it managed to do something. Whether that's down to purely the scrubbing brush that I'm using, then you can see a bit of a 50-50 there. But honestly, using a cleaner is perhaps better than using nothing, or at least scrubbing your tires makes a difference. What do you think? All right, let's figure out about cost of the products for starters here, because that could have a big impact on whether or not you would want to buy a dedicated product versus an all-purpose cleaner. So, the Autoglans Rebound is £35 for 5 litres. You're going to have to add delivery on top of that. Sometimes there are deals that come up. I know I bought it on a special sale and I didn't pay anywhere near that. I think I paid somewhere about £20-odd pounds for this 5 litres. But... It's not dilutable. So you buy five liters, you get five liters. Once you've used five liters, that's it gone. The Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo in a five liter bottle, that'll cost you £39.50 plus your postage, depending on where you buy it. Sometimes there are deals available, but this is dilutable. I was using this at 10 to one in my spray bottle. So that was 45 ml of the product to 450 ml of water in my spray bottle. So with that in mind, I can get, well that's 10 to 1, so I can get 10 times as much. I can get 50 litres of product out of this compared to the 5 litres. So that means that the cost per litre drops drastically. So this is so much cheaper. Cheaper again, the Kryptonite Z101. This is the, the thing I've been buying here for a while. I bought two 5 litre bottles for, it was, it's down here, £18 on eBay. Right, that is unbelievably cheap. That's nine pounds for five liters and you can dilute it to however you want. Now, it was not as strong or as good a cleaner at 10 to one as the Garage Therapy, but I've got loads of product for less money. So this is even cheaper again, but is it as effective? No, I think you'd have to hit it at least one more time. Whereas the Garage Therapy did a better job with a single hit and so did the Auto Glands. The Car Shampoo, well, Car Shampoos are Car Shampoos. This is a pH neutral shampoo. It's not a particularly special one. It's not high alkaline. It's not got any fancy cleaners. It's a regular pH neutral Car Shampoo. So with that in mind, depending on what you buy, if you buy five liters or buy 500 ml, they can be diluted, obviously, so you're going to get more than what's in there for your usability. You could certainly use the bucket after you've washed your car. You could grab a tire brush and use the shampoo that's left in your bucket to scrub down your tires. So keep all that in mind. Now, what would I say would be the better option? Well, honestly, I'm personally taken by the Garage Therapy product. Not because I'm a big fan of the brand anyway or the big fan of the products, but because it is so flexible. It's a shampoo, it's a snow foam, it's something I can dilute down into a pump sprayer, I could use it as a pre-wash, I could snow foam it as a pre-wash, I can use it as a wheel cleaner, I can dilute it down even more and make it a glass cleaner. There are so many different things I can make out of this, but it's safe on my paint. Now, would I use an all-purpose cleaner to wash my car with? No. I would use it as a pre-wash product, certainly spray it on and rinse it off, but I wouldn't use it as a dedicated shampoo, nor would I even try to use a dedicated tire cleaner as anything other than a dedicated tire cleaner. So you've got to be very careful about these things. So I do like the flexibility of the Zero Decon shampoo. Now shampoo obviously can do all of these things too, regular shampoos, but it just doesn't have the same bite that the Zero Decon has. So it's up to you. I know where my preference is, but if you're voting with your wallet, you want something very, very flexible, all-purpose cleaner is your way to go. But if you want something which is good as flexible, is dilutable, does nearly as good a job, or I would say as good a job as a dedicated tire cleaner, then Zero has to be the one I think 
in my opinion. But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments what it is you think. If you found anything that is particularly better, anything that stands out, anything that I haven't considered, I would definitely love to hear from you. However, that's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.